devices and equipment types. It's really good under, to understand what different types of equipment there are out there so we can start categorizing these different pieces of equipment. So let's go over that first. So first of all, let's talk about a node. A node is a connection point that can receive, create, store, send data along the way. So pretty much anything except for the media that the actual bits are going across. So in this example right here, we have a computer and a server. And over here, we've got another server. Then we've got devices in between. Each one of those stopping points within there is a node. So then let's talk about hosts or end devices. Hosts and end devices are a type of node. Specifically, they're the type of node where data is originating from or destined to. So an example of this would be a camera or a desktop. Possibly it's a server. It could be a printer. It could be a laptop, tablet, a copier, a, a phone, or a camera. So these are all devices where the data is being originated from or the data is that's the destination. So these are the hosts or end devices and it's just a type of node. So then there's IoT. IoT is a type of node. It's also a type of host or end device. But the difference with IoT or the Internet of Things, it are these, these are devices that have not been networked in the past, but are now networked. And so in the past, we have not networked our speakers, but now we have a lot of speakers that are networked. Uh, your appliances could be in that same boat. Uh, perhaps you have some lights that are controlled that connect to a network, uh, possibly a switch. So these are the things that were in the past, they were not networked, but now we're seeing more and more of that stuff come out. So essentially, uh, it's the smart home stuff. The smart home stuff is the internet of things. Another thing that we're networking more and more is things within industries. Uh, so you see a lot of stuff within factories are now being networked. You see the equipment within those factories. You see uh, things like HVAC systems and thermostats being networked as well. And then also security items and security controls are being uh, networked as well. So you've got a lot of these devices within industry that are getting networked also that's making businesses much more productive and able to uh, get in and remotely control a lot of their equipment. Now let's talk about client server. Client server is a little different. It's still a node on the network. Uh, client servers are the end devices and hosts, so it still falls under those categories. But a client server is really more of a relationship. Client is something that they're requesting some sort of service, and a server is, is, uh, is going to fulfill those requests, is going to uh, fulfill the, you know, some sort of need um, that that client is requesting. And so in this example right here, let's say we have a desktop and it's going to request some sort of service and then this server is then going to respond to that client and fulfill whatever request that is. So this could be uh, something like DHCP or let's say it's DNS. Uh, maybe it's some sort of directory services. So it could be, in fact, actually a server could be hosting a lot and typically do have more than one server that it has or service that it's that's fulfilling there. And so it, let's say this server is running all of those and then this client is going to request uh, those certain services from the server. Now, most of the time, uh, the, the client is going to be on the user side and the user is going to uh, be um, requesting, the user uh, device is going to be requesting uh, certain services. But every once in a while, we'll see that one of the applications that's running on there is actually a server. It's the server side and it might be hosting something up to a client. So we'll see that now and then. But a client server is more of a relationship. So, so far we've talked about a lot of different nodes, end devices, hosts. Now let's talk about intermediary devices. Intermediary, intermediary devices are the things in between. 
If you like my videos, could you hit that like button? Because it really helps me out. Thank you. So it's still a node on the network, but it's the stuff that's really designed to be to be transferring this data, to get to pull in that data and then send it along, along its way. So in this example right here, we've got a couple devices on here where their purpose is, is to take that data, figure out where it's supposed to go, and then send it on along its way. Then we have network media. Network media is what's actually going to be transferring the data. That's physically going to be transferring the data from one location to another. So in our diagram here, all of these lines in between, those are going to be what the data is going to traverse across to get to the other side. And that's network media.